Hey everybody, Sean Holsinger here from HolsingersFlyShop.com bringing you another fly time video today. Today the video I have been scouring for a long time to try to find a damselfly pattern that I like. Um, we have a lot of dragonflies in our area and the damselfly nymph is there's a lot of them in the stream that you don't really think about, but there's one stream in particular around my place that when I'm fishing there in the summertime, I see them on the banks and on the rocks. I see the casings of them where they've crawled out and hatched and stuff like that. So they're in the stream and nobody's really fishing them. So I, I got to use them. It's one thing that I got to start using around here in my streams. But it's also a great still water pattern, you know, if you like to fish for bluegills or largemouth around reed beds and stuff like that with a fly rod, this is a great pattern to use for that if you're a still water guy. So I've been looking for a pattern that I really like, that's easy to tie, that I can tie quickly and, you know, not spend all my time tying and spend my time fishing. So here's one that I found. I actually found this from a, a guy over in the UK. I saw a video of it, tweaked it a little bit with some material that we have here that's easy to get here instead of some of the dubbings and stuff that they like to use over there. So this is the pattern, the way I like to tie it, and uh, I hope you'll enjoy it too. So here you go. Here's the fly and the vise and the material list to tie it. Okay guys, here you see the damselfly in the vise. Really cool looking pattern. I've been searching for a while for a damsel pattern that I like. And uh, let's get into tying it. For a hook, I'm going to use a fire hole 718. This is a size 14. And um, for thread, I'm just going to use some brown nano silk. Um, reason I'm using brown is because I'm going to finish up with brown on the head. So this will just work at the end best for me. Then I'm going to use some medium sized dumbbell eyes. These are black, if I can pick them up. There we go. And I'm just going to set them on top of that hook and hold them there. And I'm going to tie them down right behind the eye, about an eye length behind the eye. There you can see, about an eye length maybe. And I'm just going to figure eight it on here. So get it nice and tight and just go back and forth, do different directions, try to lock it in as best you can. And if you want, you can add a touch of glue there. Um, I'm going to add some other stuff as I go that will help lock it down in place. And now I'm just going to bring my thread back to the bend of the hook here. Okay, and set my thread out of the way, and then I'm going to put some lead on it because I want a little bit of weight on this fly. So I'm going to use some .015 lead, and I'm just going to start wrapping this on there. And I'm going to put about 20 wraps, I'd say, until I get up there to the eyes. And when I get right behind the eyes, I'm just going to pop it off. And then we're just going to come in and wrap that up with thread. Just secure it and lock it in place. And there we go. Once we get a bunch of good wraps on there, put a couple more on these eyes. A little bit tighter. There you go. That's holding them a little better. So now I'm just going to come back here to the bend of the hook. And I'm going to put the tail on. For the tail, I'm going to use some marabou. And this is just some of the tips of the marabou here. And I want it to be about one and a half times the length of the fly. So we're just going to tie this down behind that lead right there. And this is going to create our tail. Alright, and... Gonna get a couple wraps up onto that lid and then we're gonna trim it off. And it's gonna make a little bit better of a transition there, you can see. And then I want to add some flash to this. I'm gonna give this just a little bit of flash 
So I'm going to take two strands of Flashaboo. This is fluorescent chartreuse. And I'm just going to put it on the one side, the side closest to me, as I always start on the side closest to me. Make a couple wraps, pull it out of the way. And then I'm just going to pull this over the other side and wrap it around towards the, towards the tail. And then I have two going down each side now. So I'm just going to come back here, hold my flash, and cut it off the same length as the tail. And then I'm going to take one of those strands of flash and I'm going to tie it back in to make the ribbing on this fly. So we're just going to add another piece of flash back in here. And then the next thing we're going to use is some dragonfly olive dubbing. I don't need that much. There we go. And uh, this is from SLF Pattern Blends, Whitlux Pattern Blends. And so we're just going to dub this on. And now I'm going to do this a little bit thicker than I normally do. Normally I say change the color of your thread. I'm going to start it out tight at the bottom so I can get it started wrapped on. And then I'm going to let it loosen up a little bit as I go. So it builds up a little bit of body and allows me to brush it out a little better. There you can see how I made it a little thicker than I normally would. So we need to add a little bit more to finish the rest of the way up to the eye. Okay. And there we go. Now once I'm up there behind the eyes, then I'm just going to come in. We're going to counter rib with the flash here. Space them out because then I'm going to dub this out. I'm going to brush it out a little bit here in a minute. But that counter rib will hold it all in place a lot better. And you can wrap this around the eyes if you want. That'll help. There we go. Now we need to put some legs on this fly. And I didn't pull one of the feathers out. So what I'm going to use for legs is I'm going to use some olive Soft tackle chickaboo, or not chickaboo, but um, Brahma hen. And this is off of my one of my soft tackle chickaboo capes. So I'm just going to strip all the fibers back so it's just the partridge like fibers. And then I'm going to grab the ends. And I'm going to pull from the end and I'm going to pull just the tip out like that. And we're going to chop that off and leave a triangle there. So then I'm going to sit that down on top and tie it down right in behind the eyes and go around the eyes a little bit just to secure it into place. Now I can take the shaft of this and put my hackle pliers on. And I'm going to make a good like one and a half wraps. One, okay two wraps. I don't want a lot of fibers on there, but I want enough to make it look a little bit leggy. So we're just going to cut that off then, after we get three or four wraps on it. Pull all them fibers back, make sure they're all going backwards and not sticking out. Then the last thing I want to put on is the head on this fly. And for the head on it, I'm just going to use some Red Squirrel Nymph Thorax, which is a brown color. Just to give it a little offsetting color, make it look a little bit more natural. And we're just going to wrap those legs back and then figure eight around the head. Make sure I get that all covered. Got a little bit more than I want on there. And then come right in here behind the eye and tie it off. And that's all it is to our dragonfly nymph. So we're going to tie this off and then like I said I'm just going to take a dubbing brush and uh, brush that body out just a little big bit, oops sorry about that, I'm going to brush this out just a little bit, make it a little bit more buggy and also it makes it just a little bit bigger in appearance, there, I like that a lot. Um, dragonflies have a thicker abdomen which that gives it that thicker thicker appearance but it's not really so there you go that's a great looking fly it's gonna catch you some fish especially still water fishing 
will be great on your bass ponds for bluegills and stuff too. Alright guys, I hope you like that. Um, simple pattern, not real hard to tie, and um, it's going to catch fish. Like I said, it's going to be a great still water pattern for bluegills and stuff like that. That marabou tail back there is going to give it a lot of action, and it'll be a lot of fun to fish. So give it a try, guys. Mix around different colors. If you find the ones in your area are a little darker or more of a brown color, you know, do what you need to do to match the ones in your area. Um, I say it all the time, just because I tie it this way doesn't mean that you have to fish it this way. Uh, you know, work and tweak things to your liking and to your area. Because what I have here in Pennsylvania might not be what you have in West Virginia or Idaho or Maine or wherever. So, you know, experiment, see what you like, get out, kick the rocks, sing the stream, see what the nymphs look like in your area. You'll be a lot more productive fisherman, so... Hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. You'll be constantly updated with new videos. I bring one out every week. And um, like always, guys, if you need any of the materials, you can find them on our website at holesingersflyshop.com. So until next week when I bring you another video, I'm Sean Holsinger.